Welcome everybody to this weather briefing coming to you from the Iowa Storm Chasing Network. I just want to take a brief moment here and give a standing ovation and a complete shout out to the weather for this last week, dropping an absolute spring bomb on us. It was unbelievable. It has been unbelievable over the last few days. Temps have been awesome. Been like late, mid to late May out there. I absolutely love it and I know a lot of you guys probably love it too, but If you're like me, you kind of want things to change. You want winter to show itself maybe one last time. Some of you may not want it to show itself at all and just stay this way, and I completely understand. But unfortunately, this is going to be coming to an end, and winter is going to be showing itself once more. Uh, This first graphic I want to show you guys is from the National Weather Service in Sioux Falls, you know, showing the possible tracks of this next system, which is going to be happening on uh, the overnight hours, Thursday into Friday, and into Friday afternoon. It's going to be pretty quick moving, but it could drop some possibly some heavy snowfall across part of the state of Iowa. But again, it's a few more than a few days out there, so a lot of different tracks that this thing could possibly take. So as we take a look at these three solutions here, I think solution number one is closest to what you know how I see things t- tracking out right now gfs shows one that's just a little bit different from that and i do want to get into that just very briefly so uh these out of these three here you know any one of these could happen at this point a lot of things could change over the next few days and you know we're really not 100 percent certain what's going to be happening you know besides the fact that it's going to be wrapping in some cooler temps and it's going to be dropping snow somewhere in the upper midwest you know, that's basically those are basically the givens at this point in time. So let's take a look at what the GFS is showing right now. You can see that um, it starts out just a little bit further south than what that solution one from the National Weather Service in Sioux Falls was showing. It's down in the Oklahoma Panhandle. This is uh, Thursday evening as we head into uh, the overnight hours here. You can see the low it, it moves pretty rapidly up into eastern uh, Kansas and into western Missouri and around the Kansas City area by this time you know those black iso bars are very close together so that means it's going to be very gusty winds along with this system so not only is it going to be dropping some fresh snowfall those winds are going to be really gusty which obviously could cause a ton of issues out there on the roads and make travel pretty darn hazardous on friday morning especially and as we head it it just keeps on moving to the east it's just south of the state of iowa on friday morning and finally makes its way uh off to the east of the state towards the chicago area by the afternoon hours on Friday. So, you know, with this coming from the south, it's going to bring some warm air, you know, with it on the southern end. And we already have warm air in place at the moment. So things could start out as rain for most of central and southern Iowa to start out with this system. But on the backside with the cooler temperatures coming in, it's going to, you know, some of that backside moisture could drop some snow, uh, you know, lighter to moderate amounts for sure the heavier amounts right now are looking to be uh, you know from a line of Fort Dodge up to Minnesota Iowa border and you know places northeast of that and obviously a lot of things could change so don't you know take that with a grain of salt because with this being a few days out there's definitely a lot of things that could change and but you know again one of those things that we know is going to change is the temperatures it's not going to be in the mid 60s and possibly 70 degrees anymore as you can see on saturday high temps may be just a few degrees warmer than what this map is showing but you know low 30s in southern iowa and a lot of mid to low 20s across the rest of the state so big changes are coming so keep up with us on facebook and twitter guys we're going to have updates for you constantly over the next few days with the system and for even more information head on to iowachase.com